Hi everyone, and welcome to a specific tutorial for the uh, Open World Audio System. Now I wanted to add some uh, editor functionality to the pack, but unfortunately it's still in experimental. So I'll just make this video. I'll be using this Farron's Adventure, and then you can do this little tutorial and you can use it as well. So if you go to Plugins, Projects, Plugins, and then click Built In, and then look for Editor or Utilities you will find editor scripting utilities. Now you can enable this and then restart and then we'll go on to the next part. All right, so once you're back, you wanna go right, right mouse button, editor utilities, editor widgets. Widget blueprint editor, um, select audio area. So the idea is that we're going to have one button in the editor that will select all the uh, audio areas with the same name. This way it's very easy to tweak uh, the same, the, all the audio, audio areas with the same name. So that was hard to, uh, so I'm going to add a button with some text on it. I'm going to call the text select all. gonna make it blue because blue is cool so then we need some input just dra I'll drag this one out and we're gonna want to do on clicked and on clicked we'll do get all actors of class audio area for each loop um, name get area name equal or maybe to string because this one get text to string equals equal all right and then add a branch which you can do by pressing b on your keyboard and then clicking if you wonder how i just did that um so if the names equal each other, we will add this to array and we'll call this array actors to select. Now what we'll want to do, just make a copy of this and before the on click, just make sure that we clear it so that we make sure nothing is still uh, secretly stuck in that array. And then on completed, we can get all the actors and select level set selected level actors so we're going to make an array a bucket of all the audio areas with a specific name and then we're going to select them and that's all in the push of a button so when we go back here we can right mouse button and you can do run editor so there we go and now we have to select all so if we drag in audio area and we call this uh, testing full caps and so we, we sculpt this entire area it has corridors and and strange places and we need to be very specific so we need multiple audio areas it's frustrating but it can happen and now i realize oh i didn't do any ambience and i can go ahead and click them all and then okay add ambient sounds and then blah 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 fill one in like, oh i forgot one now what so what we can do now is just say uh, we can go to this editor which is we can fill in testing select all and then we get all of them it's like hey multiple values they all need the same um okay so let's redo it oh yeah there's an issue with this let me yeah so if you then click it again usually it just works like if we check it here it just works but sometimes uh, in real uh, does does say one but then it doesn't show you the one but yeah now we can select them all just by filling in the name and pressing select all and uh, that will make life a bit easier if you make one area with multiple audio areas so I hope this made sense I'll be using this like I said and I uh, hope it's of use to you and hopefully when this gets out of uh, experimental later uh, I can add it as functionality to the actual pack. But yeah, you can just add it right now. I think it should be fine. Um, I, I, I don't foresee any issues with this. All right, guys. Good luck with your projects. Thank you so much for the support. Leave a five-star rating if you haven't yet, because that, I really appreciate that. It looks really cool. And uh, I'll see you in the next one.